Want to put one more out? I want to. I want to. Let's try one I down want here. To. Okay, I found one. Wow. Really? Eat that. That's a monster. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is it. That's a monster. Something very large. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I was teaching right, high guys, school art in the Bronx, away. and I decided because of the commuting issues that I would uh, no longer be able to do that. And then, you know, coming back to the island to look for an art teaching position uh, was almost like finding a needle in a haystack. So I decided to open my own school, and I did some research and decided to open a preschool in South Hold. And I wanted to be connected to farming. I need to be it tightly over there. The community, part of the community garden at Charnu's Agricultural Center. People in the community can rent a plot from the land trust and they can grow their food here. We, I try to get them here twice a week, even through the winter. So they can really see what, what it looks like in the winter, too, and we can see what's wintering over. So what you're seeing here are 10 by 20 or 20 by 20 plots, and people will pay uh, either $50 or $75 for the year, and they'll grow um, whatever they want. And it's all organic. You can't use any pesticides here. We have a community strawberry patch. Blueberries, blackberries. Every time the kids come here, there's there's something for them to do. They have to do a job, um, something to take care of the land, and then we give to the garden, and then we take from the garden. I don't know if we're creating little garden snobs because one of the little boys in my class last year, his mom bought sugar snap peas from Sang Lee, and he wouldn't eat them. He said, "I only eat them for my garden." <laughs> he got stuck again. We'll bring these back to the kindergarten. We'll wash them and we'll eat them. How the water is turning brown? What's happening? It's turning brown. Why is it turning brown? Oh, uh, because we washed the carrots. Yes, all the soil is coming off the carrots and it's going into the water. What are we going to do with the soil when it's all done? Take it off. We're going to put it back outside in the garden. And what are we going to do with the carrots? Wash them. We're going to eat them? Yes, we're going to eat them and put them right in our I tummies. Guess. Take a bite. Chew it up. You got to if you chew and chew and chew it, you'll taste how sweet it really is. But you have to chew it for about 10 or 15 times. What? I do it for a long time. I can never stop. I can never stop. Boys, are they frozen inside? Are the carrots frozen inside? Remember, we, we dug them out of the frozen ground. No, yet. I will try um, this one. They take care of the right, plants the that we have plants. inside. They do um, all aspects of the garden, too. From, I think from seed saving the yeah, plants to planting yeah, the garden yeah, to yeah, actually yeah, feeding yeah, the soil, yeah, composting, yeah, uh, yeah, saving their table scraps from their snacks, and also uh, they see the full circle. Good job. Can you give them a drink? Straight into the middle. Some blue and some are. Those are a different variety. Those are from the um, um, Aracanas. Oh. They're Easter eggers. Can you count the eggs, Henry? Tell me how many we have so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slow down. Seven, eight. Let's try again. Ready? 
Come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look under there and see if there's an eighth one. Are there any more? Uh, well, they have a lot of free, unstructured uh, play, and that kind of holds everything together. You know, like I'll tell them to the word meaning, we'll do that, then they'll go back to playing, then they'll have an art activity. Thing. He'll sit in a barn and keep him 